Hey there! Are you looking into adding authentication for your applications? Well, you are in the right place then. Here at WSO2, we know that managing identities and controlling access to your applications is more than just a pretty login screen these days. It's about reliability, it's about scalability, and most importantly, it's about security when it comes to your customer data and their requirements. So, we are here to tell you that we can take care of all these industry demands for you so that you can focus solely on your core product. So in this video, we are going to take you through all the significant features that we offer in Identity Server 7. Throughout this video, I'm going to take you through how you can manage your applications in Identity Server 7 and how you can integrate social logins and other authentication options in your application's login flow. And also, I'm going to talk about how you can manage users, their roles and even user groups. And then we are going to take a look at how our API authorization feature works. And last but not least, I'm going to briefly take you through our B2B feature, which is one of the latest features that we offer in Identity Server 7. First, let's see how we can integrate an application with Identity Server 7. What you're seeing on the screen here is Identity Server 7 console, which we have revamped and given a brand new look and feel to improve the user experience for our customers. So when it comes to integrating your application with Identity Server, the first step would be to register an application on the Identity Server site. So for you to do that, you have to go to this application section and register a new application. On this page, you will find many application templates where you can choose from depending on the application type that you have trying to integrate. So we have a template for single page applications, traditional web applications, mobile applications, standard based applications which are applications that are uh, built using standard protocols such as uh, SAML, OIDC or even WS Federation and last but not least machine to machine applications. Those are the applications which are tailored for machine to machine communication. So once you have chosen an application template from there, within few steps you can register an application like this. So here, depending on the application template you have registered, there will be pre-configured settings but you can always customize them according to your requirements. And once you have registered the application, of course your application will be listed on this application listing page. Now that you have registered your application, the next step would be to give sign-in options or customize your logging flow to your application. So for you to do that, first you need to configure some authentication options in the connection section. So we have listed some of these authentication options for you to configure. So there are multi-factor authentication options or social login options and even passwordless authentication options such as passkey. And also if you need to create more connections, you can uh, use the pre-configured templates uh, and create one for yourself. So I have already created a Google connection here uh, for me to show you how, to how you can integrate uh, social login uh, option to your application. So let me go back to the application that I have created here and under the login flow tab you will find the login flow visual composer which is one of the most significant features that we introduced in Identity Server 7. Uh, and in there, you can visually customize your login flow according to your needs. We have also provided you with a set of predefined flows and using one of those, you can customize your login flow according to your requirements. So here, by clicking this add sign-in option, I can select whatever the sign-in option I prefer. And since I want to show you the Google option, I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, sign-in with Google option here. And if you update this, uh, the application that you have created will be updated with the new sign-in option that you have configured here. And if you want to go beyond what we have provided here and customize your own login flow, you can always use an adaptive script. Okay, let's go back to the sample that I have created and see if the configurations we added have been applied. When you click on the sign-in button, you will be redirected to the WSO2 Identity Server login page. 
So when you click on this sign in with Google button, you can see that you have uh, your Google accounts listed here. Once you choose an account to log in with, you will be logged into the sample application using your account. So let's go back to the identity server 7 and see what else you can do. So now we are going to talk about the user management feature which is one of the most important uh, features that we offer. So in this section you can create users and manage their profiles and also you can filter the users out by the database or the user store that you have created the users in. So when you click on the uh, user here, you'll be taken to a uh, edit section where you can find the user's profile and the groups that are uh, assigned to the user as well as the roles and all the active sessions uh, of the user will be listed under the active sessions tab. And you can manage the groups of the users uh, here under this uh, groups feature. Similarly, you can manage all the roles of the uh, users here in this role section. Now let's see how we have simplified role based access control for you. So under the API resources, developers can register their API resources where they can create either new API resources or consume the APIs that are offered in the product itself. So if you have defined an API resource here, you can define the set of scopes or permissions that is required to access that specific API resources here as well. And from the application side, you can decide uh, which API resources these applications can subscribe under this uh, API resources section. Okay, next let's move on to our B2B feature which is a brand new and very powerful feature that we have introduced with this latest identity server version. So if you are planning to develop an application for a business that offers B2B services, you will have to define an organizational structure in identity server to represent all your supplier or partner organization. But I'm not getting into too much detail in this video because we are planning to do a separate video discussing what you can do with this feature and how you can utilize that in your B2B models. I think with that we have covered almost all the most widely used features in our product. But if you are curious to see what else that identity server offers, please refer to our documentation or even better please download the product and give them a try. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and stay subscribed to this channel to watch all our videos and follow us on all the social media channels that we have linked in the description so that you can hear the latest updates from us.